over the past week, I've been creating lots and lots of clip art bundle props, as we can see just here. Now, everything you can see here is also on my public profile here on Ideogram. And what I'll do is link my profile down in the description so you can come through and use these prompts however you please. Now, I've been doing this because I wanted to create a prompt generator in ChatGPT that creates prompts for me. Now, I'm still in the process of actually creating the GPT, but I've trained it on a prompt structure. And what I'm going to do in today's video is share with you that prompt structure. Then near the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can take that prompt structure, go over to ChatGPT and use it yourself to create lots and lots of different clip art bundles. Now, if we head on over to just here, this is the format and structure of all of the prompts which I've recently been creating. So it starts with medium and style, so that can be watercolour, pixel art, or whatever you want. But it's medium and style, content and subjects, so that's the graphic that you want. Then scene, additional descriptive elements, and background. Now, this prompt structure is an absolute goldmine if you want to create clip art using AI. Now, this actually works with Midjourney and it also works with Ideogram as well. Now, if we head on over to just here, this is my generator which I've been creating. I'm still in the process of just trying to change things up a little bit and make sure that everything works fine. But with my clip art prompt generator, all we have to do is literally put what we want. So let's put something along the lines of six watercolor rabbits wearing straw hats. Now, again, this GPT is created with the prompt structure, which I just showed you. So with this GPT, we are going to get the prompt for whatever we want. And then we also get a breakdown. So for this one, six adorable watercolor rabbits, or what did we put? We put six watercolor rabbits wearing straw hats. So the medium and style is watercolor. The content subjects is six rabbits. And then it goes on to a little bit more detail about that. Then the scene is rabbits in various positions. Additional descriptive elements are soft pastel hues, whimsical nature, and a few others. Then the background is white. So as you can see, this prompt generator does an extremely good job at creating prompts for clip art bundles. Now I am still in the process of trying to add a few different features to this so we can do extra things with this. Now, if you want to check this out, this isn't quite available yet, but it is going to be available over the next few weeks when it drops in my IDEO Mastery course. Now in IDEO Mastery, we already have two GPTs, which are also prompt generators, and they're for t-shirts and for stickers. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. Just please be aware that the new GPT is not going to be released for another couple of weeks. So if you do want to check this out, there is going to be a link. There's also a link down in the description below as well to this. And this is my 100 ideogram prompts. Now, this is completely free as well. And there's 50 prompts for stickers and also 50 t-shirt prompts as well. And again, if you want to check this out, there'll also be a link down below. Now, let's head on over to ChatGPT because I want to show you how you can take this prompt structure, head on over to ChatGPT, use the free version, and then create your own prompts as well. So, I've already inputted everything, so we're going to have a little read through. Now, this way, it just makes the video a little bit quicker, and you can see exactly what I've done. So the first thing we put is this, and it says, I am an AI graphic designer, and I need help crafting some prompts. These prompts are going to be used to help create clip art bundles. I am going to give you a prompt structure that I want all future prompts to use, and I'm also going to give you some example prompts. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. So it's put yes, and then this is where we put example prompts and that structure. So we put prompt structure, and then obviously the medium style, 
content subjects, theme, additional descriptive elements, and background. And then I've put a few example prompts. I believe there's one, two, three, four. Now the example prompts you can use over here on my public ideogram profile. You can come through, take four of these prompts, and then input that there as well. Then after that, you're going to put, do you understand the prompt structure that I want to use for all future prompts created? It said yes, and then I just wanted to make sure it did understand, so I put, please explain the prompt structure, and that's where it broke it down. So here's the breakdown of the prompt structure you provided. Medium and style, and it goes on to explain more about that. Content subjects, it explains more about that. The scene, it explains more about that. Same with additional descriptive elements and the background as well. Now, nine times out of 10, if you are creating something like clip art, then you do either want the background to be white and or black. It just makes it a lot easier when we go ahead and remove that. So once I've done that, so I put, please explain the prompt structure, it did that, and then that's where you can start asking for prompts. So I put, please give me a prompt for, and then I just put six watercolor rabbits wearing straw hats. And this is where we got the prompt. So this is what you can do to create your own simplified version of my GPT. So again, let's just run through that one last time. We first want to prime ChatGPT so it understands what we want to do. And that's what this part is about just here. Then we give them the prompt structure and the example prompts as well. And then after that, we ask to explain the prompt structure as well, just so it certainly understands what we want to do. And then you can start asking for prompts for anything that you want. Then you can just take your prompts, come over to Ideogram, start playing around, and generating your designs from your new prompts. And you should get some really nice designs. Now, with that being said, like I said earlier on in the video, if you want to check out these little clip art bundles, which I have just here, and there's quite a lot of them as well, these are all on my public profile, and I will link that down in the description. I actually have a lot more coming as well, because I've been testing my GPT, which I created, my own clip art generator, or prompt generator, and these are some of the results. Now, I don't quite like that, because this one looks quite off, but nonetheless, I am also going to add all of these just here. I am going to be creating more, because I'm testing it even more as well. And the more I add, once I've done all my testing, I'll also add all of these on my public profile as well. Now, with that being said, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.